guys welcome back to my channel it's me Janet Anaoku I'm from Anambra state but I stay in Italy with my family my husband and my two children and today I want to be taking you guys along and show you how I make my Nigerian stew and by doing so I want to first of all introduce you to the ingredients I'll be needing for this recipe so come along let me introduce you over here I have my tomato paste I have my stock, salt, I have my curry powder, I have my thyme, black pepper, crayfish, I have scotch bonnet pepper, I have ginger, and I have some garlics. And, uh, some onions and over here I have my meat it's actually meat I have chicken I have turkey and I have some beef and I also have my oil so let's start by boiling the meat I will first of all introduce the chicken because it's cook. It's a little bit harder than the turkey, so the chicken is going to be down while the other meat follow. This meat might look much to you, but I know what I'm doing. I will actually be dividing it into two parts because one part of it I will be using for my fried rice that I'll be making on later on today so I'm not going to be using all for this stew introduce my onions salt some time some black pepper I want the meat to be very spicy adding some curry powder have to open it in one way or the other I'm actually going to put in a lot of curry because I'll be needing some stock out of this for my fried rice later so stock instead of no keeps I prefer this one cover for some time and then let me blend my pepper pepper ginger and garlic and blend it together and some onions
now I'm going to allow the meat to cook for at least 20 minutes just because of the chicken. If we are to be only the turkey, I'll be cooking it for 10 minutes. But due to the chicken, I'm allowing all to cook for 20 minutes. And then we'll be back to check on it later. See you. So guys, this is 10 minutes after my meat has been cooking. And as you can see, it's doing very well. And I also went out right now to plug this fresh rosemary. And I'm adding it right here. I so much love the flavor it gives to my meat and to my dishes. So, I'm going to cover. Earlier on, I, I forgot to mention that I actually added some water into this pot to boil the meat. And why I added a lot of water is because... I will be needing some stock later for my fried rice and also need some stock to add into my stew. So, we've been cooking for 10 minutes and we are going to allow to cook for extra 10 minutes. Keep on checking it once in a while. While this is cooking, I think I should open this window because everywhere is just... Open my window to allow the air fresh air to come inside the house manuel what are you up to what are you doing <coughs> your homework this is my son in my his what's your name tell them your name mm -hmm. say hello hello this is, welcome back to mommy's welcome, channel welcome back to mommy's journey mommy's channel mommy's journey. <laughs> so what are you doing He's actually doing his homework. Have you finished? Yeah. <clears throat> Say hello. Hello. He's nine years old, guys. So, guys, this is 20 minutes after our meat has been boiling. And as you can see, it's doing perfectly well. Introduce my oil. Need a lot of oil to fry this meat. So I'm just going to allow the oil to heat up, then we'll be back to fry the meat. So guys, I'm back to fry the meat. Let's see how hot the oil is. I think it's very really hot now. So, start frying our meat. Well, let me remove this rosemary first. Okay. Go ahead and fry. Over here, I have my white rice cooking because I'm going to remove it, eating it with the stew. Allow it to fry for about four minutes or five minutes.
so guys this is my meat after everything has been fried as you can see it's looking so inviting so let's start making this stew now by pouring some onion and the first bonnet okay mm -hmm. some time some time some curry powder And it's time to add the tomato sauce. Get everything together and uh, cover for it to cook for at least seven minutes. Then we'll be back to check on it later, guys. Let's go and see how my steel is doing. That's fried enough. Yeah, it's actually fried enough. You might think the oil in this too is much, but I can assure you that it's not. I needed the oil to fry the tomato. For the soup to be well fried, it needs a lot of oil. So let's introduce my meat into the stew. I'm not putting all in it because I divided it into two parts. Like I told you guys that I will be needing some of it for my fried rice. So let's put in half of the meat. Oh my gosh. It's so nice, but I can't wait to eat it with white rice. Mm, I think it's okay like this. And this is where my crayfish comes in. The crayfish is optional though, but I love the taste of crayfish in almost all my dishes. Uh, everything I cook, in fact, I add crayfish. I just like the taste of crayfish everywhere. So guys, as you can see, my stew is doing pretty well. Hope I tried. Okay. And I'm also going to be, as you guys notice, I don't know if you notice, while cook frying this too, I never added any ingredients. And that's because my stock contains everything that I needed. So I did not add 
any cube. I did not add salt because I already have all those things in my stock. And now I'm going to add some stock that I got from the meat that I boiled earlier. Stir again. And guys, this is the stock I got from the meat I boiled earlier. You can see. It's a lot. And I'm happy. Because I'm going to use it shortly for my fried rice. Let me add some scent, fresh scent leaf into this stew. So, I'm just going to pick it. Pick. The fresh scent leaf just take your stew to another level. If you haven't tried it, just try it. And you will thank me later. Bring. And just pour it into the stew. And stir again. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye. Also like this video and share it to your friends. Thank you. Bye.